a few days back i just found an old handwritten cookbook which belonged to my mother and while i was browsing through it i found an old recipe uh, which was very unique and i'd never heard of and i thought i must try it and it was called the shamsi biryani i tried it it turned out really well and i thought i must share this recipe with you and so today we are going to make the shamsi biryani and um, you can see the book is already in tatters but trust me the recipe is just delicious so let's get on to making the shamsi biryani so the recipe says you first need to heat some ghee so we're going to heat 4 tablespoons of ghee the ghee has melted we're going to add some spices two bay leaves one inch of cinnamon and two black cardamoms let's wait for this to release its aroma and then you have to add three medium sized onions sliced and fry them till they are nice and golden in color the onions have caramelized beautifully it's time to add the ginger garlic paste 2 tablespoons of ginger paste 2 tablespoons of garlic paste and we have to fry this till the raw smell of the ginger garlic is gone and now we need to add a cup of yogurt to this immediately reduce the flame and stir this so that the curd does not split we need to cook this on a medium to low flame for about 2 to 3 minutes you can see the oil has separated let's quickly add some chili powder So I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of chili powder to this. And then immediately we're going to add a kilo of mutton to this. And we're going to sear this mutton for a good 5 to 6 minutes on a high flame. We've browned the mutton quite well. Let's add 250 ml of water to this. Some salt to taste. Let's give it a good stir. And let's cover this and cook it on a medium to a low flame till the mutton is done. And now while the mutton is getting done, let's prepare the rice for this biryani. So I'm going to shift this to a lower flame. So for the rice, we have to heat 2 to 3 tablespoons of ghee. And once the ghee melts, We need to add in some whole spices. So I'm going to add a bay leaf, 1 inch of cinnamon, 2 star anise, 2 black cardamoms, and a few black peppercorns. Just saute this for a few seconds. And now we need to add 3 medium sized onions sliced. and we have to fry them till they are golden brown in color
Our onions have caramelized beautifully and the rice is basically going to get its fragrance and color from these caramelized onions. So now uh, we're going to add six cups of water to this because we've taken three cups of basmati rice. And here I had soaked three cups of basmati rice for almost 45 minutes as it was suggested in the recipe. Now we're going to add this to this water. We're going to add in some salt to this and just squeeze in juice of half a lemon. Just gently give it a stir. Cover this and cook it on a medium to low flame till the rice is done which will take about 15 minutes. Now while the rice is getting done, let's take a look at the meat. The meat is going to take a little more longer to cook. So while we are waiting, let's quickly check the comments on the previous videos. Oh, so there's a lovely comment from Shoma Bhattacharya. Hi Shoma. Uh, Shoma, I so agree with you that you know in the, we have such wonderful recipes which have got lost uh, like the, uh, the Chana Madra you know from Himachal and it's such a simple easy recipe and I really enjoy looking out for such recipes which are simple and I love sharing uh, such recipes with you. So for those of you who have not seen that recipe, that video, please try it, please watch it, please try that recipe and let me know. The rice is cooked. It took about 15 minutes for it to get done. Let's keep this aside now. Let's check on the mutton. cooked well. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of garam masala to this. We need to add five slit green chilies, few leaves of fresh mint. Just give it a good stir. And now what we're going to do is Top this meat and the curry with the rice that we have cooked. So this biryani is basically a very moist biryani um, and that's what is loved in my family. We love a biryani that's less oily and moist. So it's a perfect meal for us. So now I'm going to drizzle a tablespoon of ghee just let's drizzle some cream as well let's garnish it with some fried onions some mint leaves and now we're going to cover this and cook it for another 15 to 20 minutes before we serve this. So this is the moist, simple, delicious Samshi biryani that I have learned from my mother's cookbook. So do try this recipe and let me know and keep watching Get Curried.